For my final project, I made a website called Crossworld. Crossworld is a website for people who enjoy solving crossword puzzles. So for just a glimpse of some of the features, we have tools which can solve any crossword puzzle, a leaderboards where you can create crossword puzzles, play them, and rise through the ranks, and a community section where you can friend users and send messages. So for starters, let's go ahead and check out the community section. So in our community section, as you can see, there are three features, find users, messaging, and to see pending friend requests. So let's go ahead and go to find users. As you can see, I have a pending friend request to a user called Grayman. I have no pending friend request to a user called Skull, and I'm already friends with a person called Sleeping Dog. So if I wanted to message them, I could just go to messaging, message. As you can see, they've already messaged me, so if I want to see the time at which they messaged me at, I can just hover over, and I can also reply. So now I can go back, and I can also see if I have any friend requests, and as you can see, I do not currently. And those are the features of the community section. So now let's go ahead and check out our solving tools, which can solve any crossword puzzle. So first we have to input a grid size, I'm going to say 7, and then you can just graph out the puzzle. So it could be really simple like this, or it could even be more complex. So let's go ahead, graph it out, hit submit, and it will automatically solve it. So we can actually go ahead and check out an even uh, more complex crossword puzzle. As you can see, here's an example of one. I've already graphed it out and put the words in. And if I hit submit, it will go ahead and automatically solve the puzzle. And there you go. So it could be even more complex than this, actually. So those, that is the solving feature. Now let's go ahead and check out the play section. So as you can see, on clicking play, we have find puzzles and create. To start with, let's just find some puzzles. So as you can see, you can see the amount of likes it has. But currently, we cannot like as we have not played it. So let's go ahead and play this one. So as you can see, this is like uh, has a couple of words, like medium complexity. And we can go ahead and just put the words in, try to see what fits. And as you can see, I did make a mistake there, but that was intentional. Um, that way, as you can see, it'll show you what went wrong and give you your result. And now you can also rate the puzzle. I'm just going to say I like this puzzle, so thumbs up. And now that improved, their score improved. And as you can see, I can no longer play it again. I could also change my vote if I wanted to, or just not vote at all. So now let's go ahead and check out the leaderboard. As you can see, after solving that, I jumped very high above everyone else. And now my score is 15.2. I could solve other crossword puzzles, or I could actually make my own. So let's go ahead and make a crossword puzzle. And let's call it... Or, well, let's put in it the logo of Crossworld. And let's go ahead and type out the words that we put in. Let's get the title, um, which I'm just going to call it. And I can just submit it and go back to find puzzles. And now my puzzle is there, as well as the time of when I submitted it. So that is Crossworld. Thank you.